say you had a whole life, a house, a car, a job, and then all of a sudden it got washed away. And then you end up coming to a facility of restarting your life. Rashonda Milton is a 35-year-old domestic violence survivor who was once homeless in Kissimmee, Florida, September of 2022. Milton was seven weeks pregnant when she had nowhere to live. She then was placed at a women's domestic violence facility in Kissimmee. She would later make her way to Brehon Family Services in Tallahassee. The Brehon House has been helping pregnant women for the last 45 years, but Haley Bush Deputy Director says their facility have seen an increase of pregnant mothers seeking housing. A lot of it is employment and housing are the two biggest issues. Um, any kind of trauma or abuse we see a lot here um, where maybe they're fleeing a domestic violence situation. Um, it could be of varying factors of a bunch of different things, but I would say that those are probably the biggest ones. Milton, one of the many impacted by the lack of affordable housing in the city. Places like Sunrise Place Apartments say their waiting list is up to two years long. This facility currently holds a waiting list of pregnant mothers. They house up to six mothers until they have a permanent place to live. The sky is the limit with this program. I mean, being here, I mean, there's no, no limitation. What I would like to see is just the community kind of surrounding these people and also understanding that they are a big vulnerable population that I think sometimes kind of goes unnoticed. In Tallahassee, Hajabal, ABC 27.